This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one-day reading for October 15th, 2024. It's currently September 20th, 2024, 7.36 p.m. Eastern Time. SPY at the time of this reading, $568.25, that's USD. The shuffle video for the October 15th reading was created on August 4th, 2024, 3.55 p.m. Eastern Time. That's the video playing for you in the lower left corner. In this video, we're gonna go over the overall trend direction for the day. We're gonna talk about the chart behavior around the day's highest high and the chart behavior around the day's lowest low, as well as the general timing uh, down to roughly about an hour as far as where they are throughout the day. And then we're gonna get into where the best trades are and the chart behavior by the hour, basically. You have to give it plus or minus an hour here or there of wiggle room, and not in all readings, in, in a few readings here or there, but always pay attention to the sequence of events because that will keep you on track if we are plus or minus a little bit here or there on the timing. The overall theme and behavior for the day we have bearish price swings or and or a sharp drop here probably some bearish price swings behavior around the highest high erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level in the midst of that erratic behavior we should revisit a crest that was recently a past opportunity that either means we're revisiting a crest from a prior day in the not too distant past or it could, could mean that we're seeing the same crest more than once in this you know during the 15th we'll look into that as we progress through the timeline behavior around the lowest low we have a sideways s formation within a channel of decline from key resistance down to key support we reverse and retrace all the way back to key resistance and then reverse and retrace all the way back to key support creating a sideways S formation within a channel. Another thing that's interesting is that when you have these like situations where there's a nullified significator card and then it appears n prominently in the, in the next reading, usually what it's indicating is something important. Like this, this is likely indicating that we have the, the low for today was the high for yesterday. It's possible or close to that. This may be off, hard to say. Let me see. Oh, we open, we open lower. So in the pre-market, oh, and I'm advised there's a significant cash out opportunity, most likely near a low here, acting as a trade opportunity, which we'll, we'll talk about in more detail when we progress through the reading. In the pre-market, we open lower and then there's a pop and drop out of that op lower open. There's a pop and then a drop, marking a trade opportunity, probably right around the open. We should be, there should be a rally that is halted by a decline to key support there around the open and a crest, an overbought crest in the, in the first half hour that we sell off from through multiple support levels. They could be kind of combined together. Sometimes that happens. It's hard to say, but we're going to have from a crest, a pop and drop, and then like a crest that we sell off from through multiples. We do sideways rotation at a trough around 10 o'clock or 10 to 11 o'clock roughly. And there's some sort of fake intentional fake out or shake out here around the 10 to 11 o'clock hour, roughly in the midst of that sideways rotation. There's some sort of intentional fake out or shake out. Um, it may look that maybe that it looks like we're going to go lower. Hard to say at this point, but be careful. There's an intentional fake out shake out there again. There's another one later in the day I'll talk about as well. But between roughly 11 and 12, we have a notable move to the upside that offers opportunity to open up a sh short position or close a long position. It's combined with a low signification. So it may be that out of a trough here or a lowest low thus far, there's a notable move to the upside and we reach for a key resistance level that we failed to bake through many times before. Uh, that would be your 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 signal to get into a short position for a day trade. Kind of like mixed, mixed overall bullish behavior between roughly one, between roughly 12.30, and two o'clock where we tend to establish support. There's another fake out or shake out of some kind here between roughly one and two uh, and a high, a high days, another day's high or a day's high period um, here right around the two o'clock hour. Like it looks like we'd probably see it twice one, before two and then after two. And then we have a notable decline off of that high into probably the day's low. That's where you would close out of the short position for a day trade. And likely in the midst of that, that last, that sideways rotation near, uh, at, near the day's low in the last hour, um, that would be a place where you could get into a long position for an overnight swing. So likely what's happening, let me see here. So I think these fake outs might be making it look like we're going to go higher before this drop at the end of the day. It's a pretty significant drop, kind of like a significant move to the upside that we had on, on the 14th. And there's in the right around the close, a notable move to the upside. And then it, it, there's a resistance level around the closer in the post market that we declined from pretty notably. And we should return back to it in the not too distant future. But that's SPY for October 15th, 2024. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button as always. Make sure to follow that rule of karma, my friends. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.